I am a magical wish dragon who will grant three wishes to the owner of this teapot. Wish Dragon has one of the more iconic voice lines than any other movie. Wow, they're really going at it. Hey, bring me that chair. Popcorn, anyone? I can hear you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Jackie Chan, John Cho, Jimmy O. Yang, and Ronnie Chang are in this movie. Let's just say the voices don't disappoint. Oh no. What's a man like you doing all by himself? <gasps> Number 6, Jackie Chan. <laughs> I mean, how can we not start with this legend? Even though technically he is and isn't in the movie. He isn't in the English dub in the movie, but he is in the Chinese dub of the movie. Well, not only that, he is also the producer of the movie. So, we still got his artistic flair. I mean, if you grew up watching Hong Kong Kung Fu movies, his name wouldn't be foreign to you. His high action martial arts scenes are obviously present in the movie with the main protagonist, Din Song, doing kicks and pouches throughout the movie. But we are not talking about Din, we are talking about Long, the character Jackie Chan voiced. For Jackie, we wanted to make a good movie from the start, since he has been making movies since the 80s when there are no budget in the movie. He acts in movies because he is a passionate about it. <laughs> When he was pitched with the movie, only 25 minutes in, Jackie is already hooked with the story, stating that, Oh, you guys are trying to make a good movie. It's really hard to make a good movie. But if you want to make a good movie, that's what I want to make. I want to make good movies too. Knowing his vast knowledge in filmmaking, it's a validation to the crew that they have a great movie on their hands. It's just a risk for the crew to pitch this movie to Jackie. But with his backing, he brought his talent and some investors onto the movie, which is a very valuable piece of puzzle on the China side. Even with all of that, Jackie is said to be such a genuine and decent person. Just a fantastic person all around. He has such a genuine love for film, who supported the vision of the movie, and is also given the resources needed to make it good. Number 5, John Cho. Hi, I'm John Cho. I'm the voice of Long in Wish Dragon. I am a magical Wish Dragon. Okay, it hurts that we haven't talked about the main character yet. We will, but doesn't hurt to first talk about the English dub actor for Long, John Cho. If that name rings a bell for you, he is best known as Harold Lee in the Harold and Kumar series of films. Anywho, for Cho Long, is such an interesting character because he'll end up doing a lot of improv and crazy reactions. Sometimes he talks too much and he becomes lightheaded. Jimmy Wong, the voice of Din, which we will talk about after this, sometimes ever hit Cho in the recording booth with a paper towel or a pillow to get an authentic reaction. When recording the voice of Long, I ended up doing a ton of improv and crazy reactions. Sometimes I even talk so fast I get lightheaded. And sometimes Jimmy Wong would hit me with a pillow or a paper towel roll to get a real authentic annoyed reaction out of me. Not only Wong, but Chris Appellens will also get handsy with Cho to get a reaction. Please don't touch. Don't touch me. I'm very uncomfortable with touching. But all in all, this is still incredibly worth it to him. What can I say? It definitely worked. Number 4, Jimmy Wong. Hey mom, if you could wish for anything, what would it be? Finally, we have talking about the main character, Din Song, played by Jimmy Wong. To be honest, Jimmy Wong is a name that I've heard of, but couldn't put my finger on it. Well, after some digging, he is the star of Video Game High School and a 2012 YouTube web series. Wow, that has been a decade ago, hasn't it? I'm getting old. Anywho, for him, it is such a blast to work in an animated movie, especially one made with a high budget. With his experience with podcasting, it's a very healthy skill that he has to train his voice because it lets you speak for an hour straight without breaking a sweat. Spending hours in a booth while with the director really helps him to embody the character mentally and physically. Not only that, he has to voice the character, but he also needs to act out certain scenes and pose in front of a camera position in the right way. It helps with the animation process to have a guide on how the facial features should look like. It's completely different in how his voice acts and performs. It's a whole different artistry. A fun thing that happened to Wong while production of the movie is that he got the opportunity to visit the studio that made the movie and did some voice work in the place as well. Seeing all the herd and that is being made for the movie. Before we continue with the video, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. Like the video and we will randomly give a shout out to one of you at the start and end of the video. For today's shout out, we are going to shout out this comment. So with that, let's continue on with the video. Sorry, must run. Number 3, Jimmy O. Yang. Are you going to sell chow chows? 
Confidence is the key to acting. That's one thing Jimmy believed in. Because if you are nervous about your role, you will be a bad actor. That is in the mindset that he has in every role that he has, including this one. It was a thousand punches a minute. Kicks were flying everywhere. I've never seen so many arms and legs. Playing as the short goon, one of the antagonists in the movie, knowing his history of playing Silicon Valley, I can bet everything he would just be fine in the evil regard. Where'd you get those sunglasses? Did they come with a car? It's from your mom. But in the acting regard, with his years of acting experience, he did an awesome job with his lines. Just listen to it. Don't worry, boss. We got this. <laughs> Number 2, Ronnie Chang. Hello? Come in. Uh, it's locked. I know. Knowing that Ronnie is Chinese Singaporean makes this great as one of the Southeast Asian representations in the movie. Playing as Peepa God, the guardian of the gate to the spirit world, he isn't just a funny character that shows on screen. The character is portrayed as a wise man whilst also a funny one. Being that he has also a comedian reporter on The Daily Show, this somehow fits him well. Needs a lot of charisma and charm to portray this type of character, which somehow he excels at. You have put the needs of another before yourself and shown us that you understand the meaning of life. You are now free to enter the spirit world. He is proud to portray and give representation to the Asian demographic. It makes him proud of what he is upbringing was. Number 1. Constance Wu Maybe he could make time. I don't know why I'm letting it get to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. With the same Ronnie, she believed that representation is very important. With the many voices in movies that she was in, it started in the conversation and made people aware of other cultures. Even though it is just a movie, it is with those movies that we can create stories. Stories are how we create meaning in our lives and representation equals possibilities that make other Asians feel that their stories are valued by American culture. Especially in this movie, where all the voices are made by an all-Asian cast. For her, she plays as Lina Wong, Indian's childhood friend. I'm Lena. I'm Din. You can walk home with me. Knowing her role in many other movies, including Crazy Rich Asians, which she plays as the main antagonist friend as well. This role will feel like a breeze for her, not to mention her experience in six seasons of Fresh Off the Boat. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. Like the video and we will randomly give a shout out to one of you at the start and the end of the video. For today's shout out, we are going to shout out this comment. So with that, see you all in the next video.